Hyson's recent visit to Korea has been a game changer. She's been crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's, leaving us feeling reassured and satisfied. Let's just say that Hey Sun did a lot to ease our curiosities. Her updates have been like a breath of fresh air to me, especially during some tough times I had in the hospital lately. That infectious laughter of hers helped me a lot after a stint in the ER. Hi guys, welcome to another CP News update of Guanhi and Hey Sun. Remember not to take this video too seriously. Just enjoy it and make your heart happy and your face giggle like Hyson's. Stay happy and healthy folks. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe to Funnel Pop TV. Thank you. Can we all appreciate how much Guanhi adores his girlfriend? He really can't hide his feelings when he watches her on screen. First off, fans said his friend Junsiak posted this video of Guanhi watching Hei Sun lovingly on a small screen. Guanhi reposted it, but then he quickly deleted it probably because he got a bit shy or because he didn't want to be too obvious, but I guess he forgot to remind Junsiak to remove the video because some of our quick thinking fast fingered Heiguan enthusiasts wasted no time. They had it downloaded quickly and that's why I'm able to share this with you guys. Just look at that smile y'all. Now, let's dissect his reaction in his review video for episodes 6 to 8 with four other members including Har Jong. In the scene where Hei Sun chose Wanik, Guanhi's grip on that coffee cup tightened unconsciously. And when Har Jong commented that Hei Sun and Wanik looked good together, oh boy, he pouted, he clearly wasn't happy about that remark. After her remark, something incredible happened instantly with Habin and Jinsuk's reaction OMG. They seem to be fellow members of Haeguan Cheerleaders Club, or might I add that they are our fellow shippers too lol. They both immediately tried really hard to get him to ignore Har Jong's statement, confirming to him that he and Hei Sun looks best together, it was more like assuring him that he and Hei Sun are the ultimate duo. I believe Har Jong made that statement as a little payback for messing with her heart on the show. <laughs> and hey, if you missed it or forgot, here is the clip. But the cream is good. Oh, it's very good. I'm 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 very good. Next was his reaction to Wanik and Hyson's date. Guanhi was grinning from ear to ear when the scene came on, acting completely at ease while watching the scene unfold. But Jin Suk, oh man, he was immediately on edge, peeking at Guanhi's face and then crouching behind him. Each time he did that in this video, he was either nervous or shy lol. So Jin Suk obviously reacted that way because he knows that when it comes to Hei Sun, Guan He is fiercely protective and a tad bit jealous, especially when it involves Wanik. And just when you felt though, Guan He seemed to be loving this scene, Har Jong mentions it's her first time watching that part, and Guan He responds with a cheeky remark, that he skipped it too ha 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 adorable right? I can remember vividly in their first dazed interview, they both described themselves as very passionate when in a relationship. This has been evident in how these two have been showing their love since the show ended. They've continued to express their love in their own silent yet fervent ways, they are both similar in style and very passionate. Hey Sun, especially, is on a mission to showcase the unwavering support and love among all the members, regardless of public opinion. In my previous Haeguan video, I emphasized Hyson's desire for fans to rally behind all 12 members. I expressed my wish to see them all together in one frame, even if it's just in a live stream, to demonstrate their genuine friendship and mutual support for each other. And to my utter surprise, just two hours after my video was released, Hei Sun dropped a bombshell on IG, see you soon. Before I could even process it, she was soon en route to Korea. Talk about a pleasant and delightful surprise y'all. So, after she arrived in Korea. By March 13th, she blessed us with a photo of herself eating Vietnamese food. It's assumed she was there with a friend or friends that weren't shown on camera. Many have speculated she was with Guanhi and even guessed he took the photos. 
Interestingly enough, on the very same day, Guanyi posted a photo of himself with a pouty expression, captioned, follow your heart. This has pricked a lot of people's curiosity wondering what or who he was referring to. But it's intriguing how they both posted on the same day, fueling speculation that they were together. So this led me to ponder on various scenarios. Maybe Guanyi proposed something to Hei Sun, but she declined, or perhaps she urged him to be patient. I've got three humorous guesses so let me just spill it out to you. Was he asking her to join him for the final episode's review of the show, only to hear a not now? Or maybe he invited her to come watch his game in person, but she responded with a, maybe later. Or could it be him saying don't go to Jeju with the girls, spend more time with me and she's like come on honey, the ladies need to spend some time with me too lol. The possibilities are endless folks, and honestly, those are my wild guesses, what's yours? Share them in the comments. Let's have fun playing this speculation game. Moving on. On March 15th, Heisun shared a picture of her screen showing that she's been studying. Then she shared a photo of herself with Shiyun and Jinsuk at Jinsuk's cafe. This post made me so happy seeing these three in one frame, however, she didn't end the post there. She also shared they ordered some drinks that were labeled. Two of them were covered with hearts, the remaining two left uncovered were Shiyun and Heisen's names. Now, take a wild guess, whose names do you think were covered with the heart emoji? Come on, it's got to be Guanhees, right? Why else would she bother snapping the photo and sharing it if it were just for the staff or others? She would have just snapped only those two cups if that were the case. I believe it's Jinsuk and Guanhee's name that was covered. After all, it would be too obvious if Jinsuk's name were left exposed, leaving just one name out lol. I say this because Hei Sun likes to put a little mystery and a twist on things. This is evident in so many of the crumbs she's been giving us. Can we also take time to appreciate the ladies spending quality time together in Jeju? They look like they had a lot of fun. Gayuri looks completely different in every photo I've seen her in but she remains stunning nonetheless. And as for Harjong, she's still as mischievous as ever, but dare I say even more beautiful than she was on the show. By March 16th Guanhee posted a couple of videos and photos in his stories, which included this appreciation post of gifts received from someone who traveled from far away. Just like Heisan who wouldn't make it crystal clear that one of those drinks was Guanhee's, but subtly hinted at Guanhee's presence by covering his name with a heart emoji, Guanhee too gave a subtle hint on this post. Not just by the content of the gifts, but he made it pretty obvious who the special visitor he was referring to was, by captioning his post in English, Thank you for coming from far away. Well, Heisan was indeed the one person who made the journey from far away and she came bringing thoughtful gifts not just for Guanhee, but also for Shiyun. If you've seen her vlog with Shiyun, you'll understand just how much care she puts into selecting gifts for those she loves and cares about. So yep. As if this appreciation post wasn't enough, Guanhee followed up with another one. He reposted this photo of himself, and check that out folks, the home emoji we haven't seen in a while resurfaced. This is actually the biggest I've seen of this emoji on his page haha and did you observe where he positioned it? I can't deal with this man oml. He placed it on top of his heart. OMG I'm melting. Only Hei Sun has his heart guys. We all know that the home emoji means his happy place which is Hei Sun. If you're new here, hit the link in the description box to check out my video where I explained why the home emoji represents Hei Sun. Anyways, Guanhee added the big home emoji and played a song by BB titled Bam Yang Gang. This song beautifully encapsulates the longing to be understood by a person whose lover thinks they have too many wishes and desires. The title itself, Bam Yang Gang, refers to a traditional Korean treat, sweet chestnut red bean jelly. This dessert becomes a metaphor for simple but yet authentic love. It represents the speaker's longing for a relationship that is straightforward and genuine, 
akin to the delight of savoring that sweet treat. In summary, Bam Yang Gang captures the bittersweet emotions of unfulfilled desires and the complexities of relationships. Personally, I couldn't help but connect this song to Guan He's post where he wrote, Follow Your Heart. It seems to convey his anticipation for a need yet to be fulfilled by his love, while longing more for her as she goes far away. He had a YouTube live where he played this same song again. It shows how much he loves and connects with it. The song has an upbeat, playful vibe and it's very catchy. On that live, he unboxed photo cards of himself and his teammates. Meanwhile, Sun also had a very interesting YouTube live. Ah! 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 <gasps> That's so cute! It's adorable! You would have expected Heysun to do an IG live naturally, but she opted for YouTube. Why? Because she and her sweetheart are in sync. She also unboxed the gifts fans gave her and also showcased her effortless piano skills. She is truly a woman with many talents. My heart melted even more when she proudly displayed a sticker of her boyfriend from the gifts she received OMG. She did this radiating so much happiness. Heiguan is so real and their emotions cannot be faked. These moments were truly delightful to witness. The highlight of it all was seeing Heisun physically showing support for Guanhe at his games. Witnessing Guanhe's soft reaction was heartwarming, he couldn't help but pout, glance towards her direction in the crowd, and bounce his ball in excitement. It's moments like these that make my shipping heart soar. It's evident that they're both on the same page, still nurturing their love and deepening their understanding of each other. The best part is that no one can label them as enemies anymore. How amazing is that? Plus, now we can anticipate and look forward to their review of the final episodes of the show together. I also hope we can see them liking each other's posts again, and maybe even leaving comments occasionally ha 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 ha. This ship is unsinkable folks. As Sun returns to the UK, both she and Guanhe have resumed sharing crumbs as usual matching each other's posts. Guanhe shared glimpses of his surroundings on social media and Sun also did the same. I can't wait to witness how their love story continues to evolve and unfold. The anticipation is real. Thanks for watching, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. Bye.